Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Jade, and today we're talking about how to grow on TikTok. It's all about how to grow virally, and all you gotta do is dance online and look like that. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. See you guys later. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hey guys. Today we're talking about why everybody on TikTok is obsessed with Charlie D'Amelio. 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 Charlie D'Amelio. So I don't know about you, but I grew up thinking, you know, every day if you work hard in life, you'll be successful. Things just take time. There's no such thing as overnight success. Yeah, but that's until our girl Charlie blew everything out of the water. If you guys are living underneath a rock, Charlie D'Amelio is a TikTok star. She started making dancing videos and has grown to 8.4 million followers on TikTok in the span of two months. I know it's not new to become a social media influencer, but everybody and their dog is obsessed with this girl. I was scrolling on TikTok one day and nonstop, it was all about this girl, Charlie. My feed was flooded with these dancing videos, montages of her fans. It's like she has a cult around her. I'm not joking. So the question is, how do these people just blow out of nowhere? What does it really take to have viral success? On this channel, we dive into marketing and psychology bring together the answer to the toughest internet questions. Right now, it's just TikTok stars. <laughs> if you want to know more about what it takes to become an internet sensation, all you got to do is keep on watching. Hey guys, so if you're new to my channel, my name is Jade. I'm an 18-year-old entrepreneur. I love talking about social media growth. And let me just say, okay, lately I've been reading the comments and y'all have been calling me out. So many of you are saying that I'm not 18 years old and I'm using my age for views, but I kid you not, I am born in 2001. Dad, wait, come here. Okay, the viewers don't believe that I'm 18 years old. They think I'm not. I'm. When was I born? Right before the 9/11. So what year? Do you know my birthday? March something. It's April. April. <laughs> okay, there's proof. I was born in 2001. First of all, how did my dad not know my birthday? Anyways, I'm 18. So if you guys think I'm young, our girl Charlie is actually 15 years old. I know I'm only 18, but I did not look like this in 15. Okay, I feel like before I dive into like her step-by-step -step growth, we should talk about what Charlie does online. And to be honest, it is so hard to describe. I'm gonna show you a couple examples of her content and you can kind of feel what she makes online. There's some copyright music, so I'm gonna sing a song instead of playing the video. Here you go. Renegade, renegade. Ah, ah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a TikTok star. Yeah. Wow, wow. So Charlie's a dancer online, I guess. She kind of also makes vlogs, which to me were a little bit, well, you can see for example. Hi, it's Charlie and welcome to my vlog. Okay, so I emptied the dishwasher and cleaned my room. So now it's time to get ready. Okay, now I just need to do my hair. She seems like a nice girl and she has tens of millions of fans in the span of two months, which is absolutely insane. And what's even more crazy is she's only 15 years old. So the reason why her age plays such an important part is yes, she's young, she's a conventionally attractive person. But what I think is so important is her appeal to the Gen Z men or boys. So the way I personally found Charlie was a meme that basically went around kind of saying like, when you find out she's only 15. And basically the meme was just about how Charlie doesn't look like she's 15 and a lot of older guys were like hitting on her or like sliding into her dms which is illegal because she's not legal to date you have to be 18 years old so because charlie in the u.s is like not legal a lot of people made a joke about like hitting on her and not realizing how young she was and it literally got blown out of proportion so based on my research i have three main predictions of why charlie grew so fast the first one being charlie's age because charlie was only 15 more and more people found amusement and comedy out of that so they made content around her i'm pretty sure there was more reaction videos about Charlie than Charlie uploading herself. And because of that, it made people have a assumption that Charlie was more successful or famous than she actually may have been. In marketing, this is called the bandwagon effect. The bandwagon effect is a phenomenon where the belief of ideas or trends increase more as they're adopted by more people. So what's happening is when there's more opinions about Charlie, it will make Charlie look like she's more popular and famous than she already is. And because of that, it leads me to my second point, hype. After everybody and their dog was obsessed with Charlie's age, people started to come up with the word hype, which is why did Charlie deserve this hype? If you literally go to like any of Charlie's comment sections, everybody was getting mad now at this poor girl. People were super mad about Charlie having hype for no reason because there really isn't a good reason. She wasn't necessarily talented or did anything revolutionary. She was just dancing on the internet like these TikTokers. There's literally just a meme where she just talks like this and she's dancing with not really much to give but people love it. I mean, I'm sorry, but this is not really dancing. It's just TikTok movements. And I think it's gonna be cool for the Gen Zers, but it's not like real dancing, I don't think. So as the internet was getting more and more mad that this random girl has hype for no good reason, I think it blew out of proportion even more. More and more people were hopping on the bandwagon about why this girl doesn't deserve the hype. Every single day, there was thousands of comments about people not really liking Charlie that much. Which by the way, if you were in Charlie's perspective, I would feel so bad. <laughs> like you literally were posting innocent videos online and now that 
entire world is like, why the fuck do you deserve it? Like Charlie probably didn't choose this life. She just probably uploaded and didn't expect this fame and internet success, but it happened and suddenly the internet's like shitting on her. So for weeks and weeks, there was so much negativity around Charlie until about a week ago, our girl Alex stepped in. If you guys don't know who Alex is, she's another Gen Z. I keep saying Gen Z like I'm not, I'm literally the same age. Alex is a girl that makes internet videos about her bubbly personality. I'm actually more confused about Alex than Charlie. Let me just show you this video she makes. She kind of just says hi and it got 10 million views. <sighs> yeah. The reason why I brought Alex in the story is because she kind of stole the show for Charlie. The people that were calling Charlie out for having hype for no reason was now hopping over to Alex saying Alex deserves the hype. Like, oh my God, this sounds literally like high school. I swear to God, I probably went to school with Alex and Charlie at one point. They just remind me of like your high school, two popular girls that were fighting for homecoming queen spot and both of them were just really, really pretty attractive but didn't really have a reason to win other than their physical features. Anyways, I'm kind of getting this vibe on TikTok where it's this giant high school. But anyways, people really, really wanted to give the hype to Alex. So this is where it leaves us to today. Literally, there's like so many compilations of Alex versus Charlie. And I really do believe that the reason why Charlie grew so, so fast and had so much viral growth is because of the bandwagon effect. Even if Charlie wasn't necessarily the most like talented, like amazing TikToker, because people had the perception that she was super popular, that she was super young or super interesting, it got blown out of proportion where people see her as a like, God-given idol. There's no hate against Charlie. I just am fascinated by the way that humans kind of look up to certain people and put them on a pedestal just based on what other people think. When was the last time you maybe thought someone was more important or valuable than you because someone told you them? Not necessarily because they proved it to you. I personally have so many instances where I get nervous talking to people with like tons of money or success because other people tell me that they are, when in reality, they might just be a normal person. I'm so fascinated by the way social media kind of dehumanizes people. So just to finish off this video, I wanna talk about why the bandwagon effect works. So the reason why we maybe agree to things that aren't truly our opinion is just to fit in. If you have five friends and they all think an opinion and you don't, you're going to feel really left out. Like psychologically, if we have different opinions or we're like the one odd person out of a group, we feel really scared. This actually goes back to when our ancient ancestors had to have a herd-like mentality to fit in. If you literally did not fit in the group and you didn't walk in the path that they did, you were going to get shot or killed by another animal. And I know that's super weird to think, but it's 2019 and we still have this herd-like mentality. We want to survive and fit in and feel like we belong. So by doing that, we will hop on other ideas that aren't necessarily our own. And sometimes it's kind of dehumanizing because these girls, Charlie and Alex, are probably normal humans, but suddenly because they have clout, we have a very strong opinion about them and judge them because they have hype. And trust me, I think it's really freaking weird that people on TikTok can just like do this and like blow up. But I also think that these people are regular humans just like us. They have feelings and whether you're team Charlie or team Alex, it's crazy how people can have such negative opinions about internet people that they don't even know. And this has to do with the bandwagon effect, right? If everyone hates Charlie, we're all gonna hate Charlie. And she might just be a normal girl and we're just shitting on her for no reason. Actually, if you guys would like to see a video about me bringing in Charlie or Alex on this channel, I'd love to interview them about like how they really feel about this whole TikTok success. Maybe there's something we don't know about what attributed to their growth. And I actually did DM Alex, I'll put a screenshot right here. And she actually said she'd be down to get interviewed. Maybe we can get Charlie. So just go comment below and like share this video like crazy on your story just to make this happen. Tag Alex, tag Charlie. I kind of want to dive into their mind about this. So yeah, let me know if you guys would like to see that. I need your help to get them on this channel. <laughs> All right, so with that being said, shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you guys want to be the next comment winner, all you got to do is comment below. I have loved chatting with you guys on the comments. You guys can text me right here on my text message group. You guys can ask me any questions about social media, growing online, and it's just an intimate, fun family. So let me know if you guys have any more other questions. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.